I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific, and I'm the creator of the Dat Destroyer book. It's not common that I do an interview with a student, but this is such an extraordinary student and case, and the story is such a marvel that I think I want to share it with you. This is what we call Lawyer Bob, or who is Lawyer Bob, I should say. Um, Lawyer Bob was simply put my best student throughout this semester, and his story is such an incredible, um, pumped up marvel that I want to share with you guys. Bob, um, why don't you just tell your story, and I think the kids will just absolutely love it. Sure. Um, so I'm lawyer Bob, uh, although my real name is Rob Spielman, and I am or had been an attorney up until a couple of years ago. I went to law school at the University of Washington uh, <clears throat> in Seattle from 2002, graduated in 2005, and for 14 years I was an attorney focusing in antitrust uh, uh, litigation. And after I got done with my last major case, I realized I didn't want to do it anymore. I needed something different. I wanted a career change. And so I created a checklist of all the things I was looking for in a career, whether it's uh, portability, independence, client face time, etc. And dentistry seemed to fit uh, all those. And uh, I started shadowing. And as I was shadowing, I kept asking uh, the dental students I was uh, observing, you know, how did you study for the DAT? And they all told me, well, you know, Dat Destroyer, Dr. Romano. That name kept popping up. And so that's how I got to know uh, this man right here. And here I am. Um, I took the Dat, got into NYU College of Dentistry, and here we are. Now, before you go on any further, am I a mean guy like everybody says, or a real sort of just an overall nice guy? Now, you sat right in the first seat, right, right near me. Now, was it that scary that, that students sometimes want to sit 30 feet in the back? No, I mean, not, not at all. I mean, again, it's I. I thank you, lawyer Bob. No, I love it wasn't this that man. scary, right? I'm, no. a, I'm a nice guy. No, I it, mean, it's absolutely says, not. It's like I, you know, I'm not scared of you. All right, uh, thank you, lawyer. I mean, not to be scared about. This. No, 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 nothing. It's like also you have to develop a tough skin because you're gonna in, you're gonna meet people who are a lot uh, who are very surly to say the least. This he, he's he's not as bad as people make him out to be. That's, That's not right. good at all. Thank you, lawyer Bob. No. So a little up. Thank yeah, especially because right. I mean I've been up in in court. I've had my you know you know I've been ripped to shreds by federal judges. So you know I'm very accustomed to uh, you know like that sort of thing. So like I'm uh, no you are. All right, thank you, Do you have like a favorite moment with in Dr. Rana's class? Um, let me see. Now I get nervous, but okay. Well, I mean, it, it was always funny to me, and I guess amusing to him too, that I did so well in the study group questions, and I, and I, but I never got anything right in class. It was just comical. And I called your ass out on that. Right. I would always say, when I asked lawyer Bob a question in class, kid didn't know it. But in study group, you knew everything. Right. And so that's why I like, I know a lot of kids seem to, uh, scared. It's like, I don't want to answer his questions because I might get it wrong and he'll call me stupid. And I always tell him like, are you kidding me? How many times, did, how many times, honestly, did I get a question right in the class? I don't think, maybe once. I don't think you ever got a question I right. I think it was just, uh, the, just dioecious. That was the one word. I was I stunned. I was stunned you knew that. Yeah. And the vocabulary, he's good in vocabulary, but when I asked him an organic question, he didn't know it, but after I explained it to him, I, I, I loved the fire, though. You kept coming at me. Like, yeah. I kept coming at my instructor. You know, I'm glad, like, I, I don't think a 20-year-old has the maturity to think, I'm on your team. So if I sort of yell at you, you're telling me a Grignard is, you know, made of cobalt, and I'm like, you know, no, it's Grignard is magnesium. You know, and you can't get offended. You got to come back another day to fight. I yeah. mean, I'm on your team. But sometimes I'm a little tough, I admit. Hey, it's tough, tough love. Sometimes. Tough love. You know, but that's only because he wants you to succeed. I mean, if you want to be coddled, I guess, uh, you know, the, you could get, find a you know teacher who's not going to care about how you do. And then they'll be super nice. But, you know, you need someone who's, uh, on, like you said, on your team, you know? So. Um, if you were living on the other side of the country, would you would you go above and beyond to come to class or you know like what what do you think of people who come like come over to new york just to study with dr romano well worth it absolutely i mean i i gotta say like the notes and the attending the class especially and sit up front i mean if you're paying for the class try to sit as close to the man as possible and you know you'll learn something and don't be afraid again ask questions uh you know be afraid uh, be be um don't be afraid to get stuff wrong because it's the only way you're going to learn 
And so I, I would highly recommend taking the classes if you can. And we've had many students come from Utah, from Texas, yeah. Ruth, Ruth Catro, she's a girl from Texas, she's a dentist now. Yeah. It goes on, Colin, who's in dental school, and my boy Raji Raj. I have students from all over the country who's come here. We have a lot of kids from Connecticut. We had Layla, Layla, um, she actually flew down from Canada. Wow. I don't know if I would fly down for Lady Gaga, to be perfectly honest, yeah. but the girl flew down to my class, and the girl stayed for the class, and then that same night, went back home. Yeah. I mean, um, it's it's insane, but um, the girl I'm happy to say Layla made it into dental school as well. Um, but it was it was very hard work, and um, front row almost where your seat was. That's where Layla sat. Layla Gadimi. Yeah, that was. Her Have name. you um, interacted with Nancy at all, or uh, like did she ever cheerlead or coach you, or like? Well, I found Nancy delightful because she's like. The first time she's I, very tough. I'm I'm scared of her, but oh, I mean I, everybody. I, I mean everybody loves her. I'm a little nervous. Well, she's very responsive. I mean, she when is, I was uh, like inquiring about like registering with the the class, I think I must have emailed her or at like midnight or something. And within 15 minutes, she I got a response. I was like, wow, somebody is really on the ball. She's a work machine. She works right. 24 hours a day for the students. Right. I mean, so, yeah, she's so tough. She's that, a lot tougher than I am. I tell you that much. For people who aren't here and that may not have the opportunity to meet and work with Dr. Romano, um, like, uh, do you think the books unto themselves have value or do you think you need to go to the class in order to? No, I mean, most of your students use just the books, correct? And yes. the study group. I would say the books coupled with the study group, both are, you know, you can do remotely. And so it's very doable. And those students do get into dental school. Right, and, and also really well. we do have Professor I mean, Dennis. Like Jay Lim, right? Was yes. It? Yeah. Yes, Jake did very well. How about Professor Dennis Baringholtz? Um, he was a former researcher. He worked on the AIDS virus and prion research at Rockefeller University. He does video conferencing and video tutoring for students that do need help above and beyond what we right. do in the Destroyer book. So there's a load of resources out there. And if you can't afford personal tutoring, um, Khan Academy, that's yeah. free. And I think Khan Academy's done a good job. They've done a good job, and there's free resources on the internet for students that really have no money at all. So there's all there's all sorts of resources that you know a student can have as well, and that's nice. Absolutely, that's where I did all the free videos, you know, to help a lot of students who really needed that extra push and can't afford a private tutor. Where I covered a whole bunch of bio, a whole bunch of organic. I mean, there's hundreds. I think you were telling me, what is it, like 500 videos now or something like that? One oh, of yeah. the guys had an exact number. I don't, but it's in the hundreds. It's staggering. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, there's the, the online resources now available now are incredible. Uh, and for students, like, uh, there's a lot of self teaching. I mean, uh, there's, there's no way that you can learn something like organic chemistry just from lectures and PowerPoints in class. You need to engage, you need to teach yourself. There's a lot of uh, self learning that that goes on and i mean that's how i learned right. it you know and so yeah the videos are incredibly helpful well, thanks they were a lot of fun making them I yeah i love doing it yeah uh what's your favorite thing about dr romano um i would say well first of all his dedication to to sciences i mean the, the man knows it i mean he could teach uh, gen chem orgo bio physics easily and masterfully and better than most you know, professors who only teach any one of those. And he teach, he juggles all four of those simultaneously. And, you know, so, and he's easily the best, uh, uh, you know, uh, chem or orgo professor I, I ever had, so. Thank you, Bob, I yeah. appreciate that. What's your favorite thing about him? I love his fire. Um, he's spunky. That no matter what I would ever say to him, the kid keeps coming at me. He comes at me all the time. If I say this is a wrong question, I got you on a trick problem, he'll be back another day for another fight. Um, I, I love his fire. That's the thing that I admire most about him. Every student in the class loved Lawyer Bob. They loved him. And um, I'm sure that so many kids, if you saw him in the study group, how many kids email you and yeah. message you, and he's always available. Yeah. That's why I told him when he goes to dental school, you got to try to maybe run for the class president or one of the offices. Right. Because he's not going to be as scared to face the professors. No. Where, where students are scared to face the professor, and you will go up there and you know you go to bat. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. That's what a leader. I mean, he's a, he's a leader. Yeah. Fun.
I mean, just remember, the professors, whether it's Dr. Romano or whoever your professors are at, in dental school, they're on your side. So don't be yes, afraid to absolutely. You know, ask questions. And also, like you said, I'm available. I'm you know, Rob Burgundy on uh, Facebook. Uh, so if anybody wants to reach out and ask me a question, I'm always available. And speaking about like professors at school, if you made a tooth and it looks like a goddamn chiclet, shouldn't the professor say to you, Bob, this is horrible. Do it over. I mean, I don't think it's something you should be offended about. Oh. You should be like, thank you, sir, for telling me this is so horrible. I got to do it again. So like you said, it's not punishment. The professor says this isn't good work. Um, do it over. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's you, know. how you as, a, as a future dentist, you want to get that feedback from your professor yes. in dental school rather than on some passive aggressive negative Yelp review or uh, what, what is a doc, doc review because your patients may not say anything in the moment, but they will uh, rip you to shreds online and there goes a whole bunch of future business. Because Nancy always tells me a story that Jessica used to always say, if one person thought it or said it, many people are going to say it. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't think it looked good, I looked at a tooth on you and I said, well, this doesn't look so good. I'm not the only one who thought that. So you have to do it right, especially, this is a different world now. It's not the world of your grandfather's day where we're just looking for function. Mm -hmm. Now you're looking for function of teeth and you're looking for high aesthetics. Right. Everybody wants to be Brad Pitt. Right, exactly. I mean, it, just think about it. Like if uh, your friend told you right before a job interview that you got something stuck in your teeth, would you be offended? Of course not. You would thank them and you know go floss. So. That's right. All right. All right, lawyer Bob. Thank Very you, nice. Great. Bye-bye. <laughs>